Simeon, let, let's just get Nike out of the way because I, I don't have any intel from the company. Obviously, they're not they're not talking about this. But as someone who has covered Nike for the last 10 years, and I know you cover the stock as well, it would seem an odd fit because Nike focuses on software and digital to, to buy a hardware company, especially one Peloton, which has an, a relationship business, an apparel business deal with Adidas. But what do you think? So, first of all, great to see you, Sarah. So, I, listen, I think that, and to use the exact same caveat, I don't know anything, right? So let's let's kind of throw that out there um, in many fields, but but in this in this specific or in, as well, I think you and I, how many times have you and I talked about whether it was Nike, Under Armour, now increasingly Lulu? We watched these large athletic brands try equipment and pull back from equipment. I don't think that's the appetite. I think to use Kevin Plank's line, like these companies want to sell shirts and shoes, and right now, whether that's physical or virtual, I don't think they're looking to take on this big equipment business. And then, and then we have the Amazon rumor as well. I mean, do you think there's something to this, or is it is it just bankers putting out little feelers all over the place, which is clearly sure. bringing bringing up the price of Peloton? Well, so by the way, it was interesting. I was looking at this. It, it's it's a little bit surprising. You look at it where it is today. It's actually not that far from where it was last week. So, like the Peloton price has been incredibly volatile anyway. But I think listen, it's, it's a valid, it's, it's a very valid question. Why, why did this come out on a Friday afternoon? with market close a couple days before earnings. I mean, there's clearly a reason for this, and now we're talking about it ahead of a print tomorrow, which is going to be a very interesting print. So I, I can be completely wrong, right? A large company can come out and say, just say, this is worth it, they want to buy it. But I think we have to ask, at the end of the day, is the reason it's so cheap, right, relative to the size of these companies, because it's also small relative to the size of their businesses. And what do they really offer them? And from the Amazon perspective, and yet I don't, I don't cover Amazon, but when I think about it from this perspective, what Peloton is finally working to do, it seems, is re-elevate the brand. Is actually go back to a theme you and I have talked about with Victoria's Secret and Under Armour in that sell less, charge more, make more money, right? You went too far too fast. The Amazon story feels like it's the opposite way. If the whole value of Peloton is that 39 a month, is that notion of subscription as opposed to equipment, then folding this into a business that tries and rolls it out, I mean, what does that get you? We know Peloton doesn't have meaningful price elasticity of demand. How do we know that? Because when they cut the price meaningfully, you didn't see a surge of orders. So I think like that's this question of what's the right path for Peloton. It seemed like the right path was to elevate, not to go mass. Simeon, I, pre I appreciate the notion that this perhaps is a trial balloon because it very well could be. But it would be extremely disappointing if they came out when they did report earnings and say there's nothing that we have to say and then nothing comes of this. So I'm not sure if this would be a fruitful one if there's nothing, if there's no there there, so to speak. In terms of Amazon, though, you know, when the news crossed on Friday, I thought immediately, you know, this is really interesting because Amazon's got the delivery network. It knows how to manufacture things and get that done. It's got a delivery platform. It's got a subscription business. And if they were able to roll this into subscriptions and they do have price elasticity, as we've seen, and are able to raise prices, then maybe this is an interesting gambit. You know, it's Amazon is the kind of company that might be able to afford to lose a couple billion dollars a year, whatever Peloton is losing at this point, at, at least at the get-go. Yeah. Listen, it's great to see you. Um, what I think, and I'm saying this a lot in this period, like I just don't know, I can be wrong, but we're going to be saying that a lot through this period. But at the end of the day, I don't, uh, does this benefit Peloton that the news is out there? Like if they come out tomorrow, was this brought on by them? Was this brought on by the bidders? Like it, it does beg the question of who stands to benefit from this news being out there. I don't know that Peloton stands to benefit as they have to now go and deal with this tomorrow. So I think like that's that first part, which is interesting. Vis-a-vis -vis the Amazon point, which I think is a great point, what I'll say is there's still a billion and a point three, almost a billion three of inventory sitting on the books as of last quarter. Right now, the issue in the past was manufacturing and getting the amount of supply. Right now, there's a lot of inventory out there that hasn't moved. It hasn't moved with price cuts. So I don't know that the idea, like I think what we are seeing is the question of did Peloton, did COVID expand the audience or just pull it forward? Right now, the numbers are arguing they pulled it forward. So if Amazon enters the picture, what do they offer there? And if you think about it, I, and I haven't done this survey, I don't know this answer again, but if you think about it, how many Peloton users do we think are not already prime subscribers? So I, I just think at the end of the day, Peloton has 2.8 million very loyal customers. That's a fraction of these large companies. And so that's going to be part of this question of what do they really add other than this brand? I think that the big question we have to ask is if these big mega companies didn't buy Peloton during COVID when they were going like this, do they want it right now as it's this fixer-upper restructuring story?